Hi guys, it's me. Oh wait, 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 let's start all over. Oh, you cunts. Let's talk about The Boys Season 4, uh, which I had a blast watching, and I always get bummed out when I know like the last episode is coming. It took me a whole week to actually watch it, because I just... I didn't want it to end, right? And that's the same way that I've felt about The Boys ever since I watched the first season. And I've just been like, have you seen The Boys? Have you seen The Boys? Do you watch The Boys? You know, because there's just so much good stuff in there, you know? But I wanted to make it not so long. Uh, so I'm just going to narrow it down to like five things that I've really thought a lot about for this season that just passed. Um in no particular order. So, yeah. Um, A-Train. A-Train. Just making a turn for the better. How emotional was that? You know what I mean? When we know A-Train has had, like, his history in the show is, like, not really doing much, not thinking that he has a say, and not having a say. And then M.M. gets to him, talks to him, is like, dude, you could fucking change your life you can turn it around all you have to do is want to you know you just you have to want to change and he does and i thought it was so great to have him save mm take him to the hospital or to the er or whatever and to have that little boy see him and just have that reaction of like whoa like that's a fucking superhero you know when he thought it could never happen so I love that. That was awesome. Uh, next. That was my dryer. I don't know if you heard it, but. Huey's dad. Simon Pegg. Oh, dude. That episode when he gets injected with V by the mom. And then he. It's so sad. So freaking sad for me. You know what I mean? He was. He was like, what's happening to me? Like, he didn't understand. <sighs> that was... That was a fucked up part, dude. That one... That one... That one. <laughs> you know? And that's really all I'm going to say about that. You know? Or how there was a chance for Huey's mom to really, like, explain to her son, like, you don't get it like i just wasn't happy i couldn't which is fucked up i guess it depends on how you want to look at it right but the fact that she was able to explain it to him and that he understood and was like there's no point in me hating her you know it was uh it was cool it was uh, comforting in a way because that's just who huey is the comforting character you know what i mean uh another one which is my third one now what's up with the deep being in love with the fucking octopus. And not just that. The octopus is voiced by Tilda Swinton. Excuse me? What the heck was that all about? You know what I mean? It was so <laughs> freaking weird. And like the fact that the deep is so affected by it. Like very very weird that's really all i can say about that <laughs> like i wish i had a little bit more sympathy for that one but uh yeah it's a it's an octopus it's kind of weird and he has like that power to like connect with the sea right with sea creatures which should make him a lot more powerful than he thinks he is i don't know maybe he'll realize that next season you know what is that for? Three? I don't know. Anyway, Sister Sage. Yes. I fucking love Sister Sage. And I love her comeback at the end to be like, oh, uh, yeah, you kicked me out. But guess what? I still fucking kept going with this plan because it's fucking fun for me. You know what I mean? That was so good. I love that about her. And she's just so chaotic. 
because she understands you know what i mean she understands that shit isn't fair she understands that people really don't give a fuck at least for her that's her experience in life you know that story with her grandma dude i love sage and i'm excited to see what she does in season five and uh what's the last one How this season just really cemented Butcher as my favorite fucking character. Okay. This dude was the coldest motherfucker, right? Then, of course, through Becca having like this son opening his heart to being like, this is a kid and it's my wife's kid and I love my wife. So I'm going to take care of this dude, you know, trying to do it. Seeing that, unfortunately, this kid is able to kill, kill someone that was actually a very important person in his life and feels no remorse. You know what I mean? And that's exactly why Butcher did what he did at the end. He was like, we gotta, we gotta go, you know, we gotta, we just gotta keep going with the plan. He goes in there and is like, I don't give a fuck about Newman. I don't give a fuck about making, you know, um, treaties. And I don't care about negotiating with terrorists, basically. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that was really good. And he just, he gave everyone a break, dude. You know, everyone in that room, all the boys and everyone were willing to be in this fight till the end. So M.M. put his life on hold with his family to keep going with the boys, to do this thing that's bigger than him, right? But where does it end, right? So he knew that. He was like, fuck this. I'm just going all out, going balls out. He comes back, doesn't care what anyone else says, does what has to be done, you know what I mean? And, uh... Yeah, that's my boy right there. Hell yeah, I love Butcher. But uh, yeah, I think that's it. And what's an extra? What the hell happened to Ashley? Not the other Ashley that was killed, but like Ashley, Ashley, you know? That's what I'm excited to see. <gasps> oh, Soldier Boy coming back. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. I'm excited for that too. And we have to wait until 2026 for that. I'll see you guys then, I guess.